Hey everybody. So you guys asked for more card wallet holders. Um, this is a really simple one. Kaylina designed this one as well. And uh, so it'll be in the description. This one's not free, just a couple bucks. And the first thing we need to do is put the pattern together. So it's just a big T-shape, but we had to split it up to be able to print it at home. So each of the wings have two dotted lines, and then the main piece has a dotted line. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the grid on my cutting board to line up the, the furthest dotted line from the edge and make sure that's straight and we're gonna do this one on each side so I just have some tape Go like that and we'll do this one and then what I like to do is I'll, uh, I'll flip it over and just put a little bit of tape on the other side mix it a little more sturdy and we have our pattern and this is it it's just a single piece so we're gonna trace this out and I'm gonna mark make some markings where these other dotted lines are and we'll get to making it so I have a chunk of a uh, permanent natural veg here and we're just gonna set that right on top and trace it out and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure that I mark, there's two holes, because this has a snap. Um, so we're going to make sure we mark the location for the snap. And then I'm also going to make some marks, as I said before, for these little dotted lines, because that's going to be, one's a stitch line, and one is just a kind of a glue mark that is nice to have, so you know where to glue the flaps. So, we'll do it like this. First thing we're going to do, we need a hole there and a hole here. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to make just tiny little marks. We don't, on any on either of these, these we can mark the whole way across, but these we just want to mark the edge because this is just a, a reference where to glue. And then on these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark there, and I'm going to mark here, and then once I cut this out, I'll show you how I'm going to handle it. First thing I'm going to do is punch my holes. Um, you can, usually you would do this after you cut the piece out, but um, we have an inwards 90 degree angle here, and you guys know, well, if you haven't watched us, um, I like to punch little holes anytime I'm doing an inwards cut. Um, so that we're just relieving some pressure and making sure that this leather, over time, talking, you know, 10 years or more, isn't going to split at this cut. So that's why I'm going to punch all the holes first, and now it's just a few straight cuts and we'll have our pattern. And so... You can see we've cut this part of the pattern out, um, but we have to cut this part out. And this is just, I just wanna show you why I punched that hole right here. Um, if we were to not punch this hole, we'd have two cuts meeting up, butting up. And it's kind of, with a, with a blade, it's almost like a you're cutting something out with a circular saw. There's really no way to get it exactly perfect. But if you punch a hole, then all you have to do is put your blade in the hole and cut away from it. And once that's done, you see that instead of having just two lines, let me get another blade here. Instead of having two lines that sort of meet up and probably cross over each other, you basically, you have one clean line that goes down, wraps around, and comes down again. So over time, this little joint isn't gonna crack or, you know, rip or whatever, whereas something like this, well, you can see it right here, something like that would. So next step, um, what we did do was we left, I left the, uh, the flap square. So if you want to round it, you can pick whatever shape you want for a flap. So on our pattern, we had this little line that we made a mark for. This is going to be a stitch line. So what I'm going to do with the pattern I'll cut out, out of leather, is I'm going to use the lines on my cutting board to line this up so there's our mark right there. And all I'm going to do is just continue that line all the way down so I know this is going to be my stitch line and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So 
So these next two steps are optional, but I had to show you. This is a sample that Killian made. As you can see, it's dimensions aren't totally right on this one, but we fixed it on this one. Um, I left the, in the pattern, this is left square, so you can put whatever shape you want on your flap. I'm just gonna do a slight curve. And then the other thing is, this isn't in the pattern. I guess I can put it in the pattern. Um, this is just a little tab, so when you have a flap like this, sometimes I like to put a tab underneath, so then you'll have, you have something to grab with your finger to pop it open. So I made one of these, I'm gonna add it to the pattern, so it'll be in the pattern if you wanna use it. Um, and I'm gonna round these corners before we put it together. I'm just gonna use a spool over, it's a tiger thread to make my curve. You can use a coin or any round thing or well, any shape that you want actually. So this is, this is a cool design because it has this sort of center section that's sewn together to create the coin pouch in the front. Um, and it's, it's kind of a difficult thing to, sew, to glue or tape because you're gonna see, I mean it's folded directly in half afterwards, so you're gonna see anything that deviates from any glue or tape that isn't exactly under the stitch line. So I'm just not gonna glue it at all. You don't need to, it'll be plenty strong stitched. I'm gonna take my biggest stitching iron, this is their six tooth, and I'm gonna hang my first tooth over the top of the first side. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. First tooth I'm gonna hang over the top. Now, when we go to sew these together, the stitching should be perfectly even. So what I did was, once I finished stitching, I backstitched and I brought it up through the middle. So you're not going to be able to see it from the outside. So I'm just going to clip that. And then melt my stitching. And remember, melting really only works if you're using a synthetic thread. Like a nylon or a polyester. It doesn't work super well with linen. So now we have to kind of fold this up and we'll get the last part glued. So this is where those other lines that we drew, they're marked, came in. So we have a line right there. I'm just going to use my pencil to transfer it lightly onto the back. And our other line is right there. I'm going to do the same thing. What that's going to do is it's going to show us where to glue to. And what I did was, in the pattern, I left just a little bit of room so this whole thing sits nice. So you might want to mark the underside because you're not going to be gluing all the way up to here, you're going to have like a, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. So we'll mark three-eighths of an inch there too. Now we're just going to glue along this line, this line, and then these two seams, and we'll fold it over and stick it together. Punching these seams, punching the holes in these seams is a little bit strange, but if you just kind of squeeze up the coin pouch, you have full access to that stitch line. So we'll just lay down our mark with our wing dividers and go in and punch.
And here's our finished product. Um, she, Kaylina did it again. She designed such a nice, simple uh, card wallet, but it's so functional. It holds so much stuff. So let's go. We can go credit cards in the back here. That's a couple. And then if you need room for change, put that right there. Closes just just fine. You can also do. This is like, I don't know, seven or eight folded bills. Put that in there. I'm doing this a little, just kind of throwing it in, but more change. And then if you have a bunch of cards, you can do those in the front. I'm gonna transfer these to the front and then do bills in the back. It's so cool hold so much stuff in so many different ways. So, I'm psyched on it. She did a great job becoming quite the designer and I'm, I'm very happy. Um, so the pattern's in the description for a couple bucks. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.